1950, uh, 1948, the State of Israel was created. By 1950, virtually every Arab nation in the region had declared uh, the Jews uh, persona non grata and sought to evict them from Morocco all the way to, to Egypt, to uh, uh, Tunisia, Syria, uh, uh, Morocco, uh, any, uh, all the, they all, they were all in great peril. And uh, one nation, which had a large Jewish community where the Jews were in peril, was in Yemen. And in 1950, the State of Israel determined, the State of Israel had been around for two years, determined to rescue the Jews of Yemen. Who did they call upon? They contracted with Alaska Airlines, which had some excess equipment. And they hired Alaska Air and the pilots. One of those pilots was a man who we met earlier this year named Elgin Long, 91 years old today. 91 years old now. So Elgin Long, who had never been to Israel, gets his, uh, I think it was a DC-3, he empties out all the seats, and he makes 12 flights between uh, Yemen and Israel, takes out all the seats, moves 1,800 Yemenite Jews from Yemen to Israel in 1950. And earlier uh, this year, Elgin Long, again, 91 years old, returned to Israel for the first time since 1950. And we brought him to Gila's community, which is full of all the families that he rescued. The entire, what, from those, from those 1,800 people, there was now an enormous Yemenite community living in freedom, security, and prosperity in Israel. And they had the chance to say thank you to a man who had never met them, who had never seen them again. He dropped them off in 1950, never came back. And in 91, he came back to be thanked by Gila's community. This is what first responders can do.